believe all dreams have a meaning. And you can dream many strange things. You can fly, you can be underwater, or you can travel to some strange secret world, like a fairy tale world. And if you draw your dreams, you can remember them, the dreams. Sometimes I wonder if what happened three years ago was just a dream. Sometimes my dreams take me back in time to a place where my brother could make snow and where he became a prince. We passed through the cave that united our two worlds. I met Snoke, the evil sorcerer who tried to steal the magic gauntlet. And Nairul, who didn't belong in our world, but was a princess in the other world. I wish I could go back there, but the cave collapsed and was sealed off. The only way I can return to that magical place is in my dreams. Dreams Mean by Dr. F.P.N. Howard, but you already have three books like that. Well, none of them were able to interpret your dreams, though. And what dreams are those? Hello? The dream where you were hanging from a chandelier? And under you is a plastic Christmas tree, and there are three gnomes dancing around? Yeah, yeah. I think somebody uh, needs to ease up on the dream interpretation, Mira. Yeah, but Dr. Howard says, in order to be the best possible person you can, you must never give up. Remember how mad your mom got when she saw the new color on the walls? But that is what her dream said she really wanted. Well, she wasn't thrilled when she saw it, I can tell you that. I'm still in the process of learning. I got you. When are we going to get our Christmas decorations? Before or after dinner? Uh, Mira, I have something to tell you. You know how when the farm burned down, with all our Christmas decorations, and we had to move back in here, well, there's something that is called insurance. Which means we can get new decorations, right? Yes, that's right. However, the thing is, this letter just came yesterday. And it turns out, uh, we didn't cover the costs in time, so we get nothing for the house. Does that mean we're poor? No, no, no. We just don't have any cash on hand. So we have to save what we can. I don't have many clients, so Mom has to work double shifts. Mm. I know it sounds gloomy, Mira, but that's how it's going to have to be this year. Right. Okay. Woo! Oh, that's Roy. Uh, your new colleague? Yep. Roy has worked undercover in some tough places. He is very experienced, to say the least. It is so inspirational to have a partner you can learn something from. Will you be home before bedtime? What's that? Do you think that you'll be late? No need to wait up for me. Gotta go. I'm making dinner anyway, so I'll leave some leftovers in the refrigerator. Howdy. Uh. Why don't you try and figure out if you can interpret my garden gnome dream while I finish heating up these fish sticks? Okay. So 
So three garden gnomes dancing around a plastic Christmas tree. Garden gnomes and plastic Christmas tree. That means... Uh-oh. I interpreted Papa's dream, the one with the garden gnomes. That means he wants to have more fun in his life. And the plastic tree in the dream means he's looking for light. And you're sure that's not a dream of yours? We can't afford anything anyway. Maybe we should take a look in the garage. The people before us left a bunch of stuff. I can't now. I'm trying to figure out if and where we can find an entrance to the Valley of Nights. Kevin, the cave collapsed, remember? You're not going to find an entrance, and you'll never see Iril again. Can't you be a part of our life here? And you can start by helping me create a little bit of Christmas spirit. beyond the endless forest. We hadn't had snow for years, since the magic gauntlet was missing. But someone came and saved us, and returned the gauntlet. The Prince of Winter, Kevin. I'd call that guy the Rat King. I... We shall never again see him, but we shall remember what he taught us, that you're never too small to do great deeds. Candy, so uh, can I call it a night? <laughs> Uncle Snurk, the party has only just begun. Get more candy in the kitchen. How long do you intend to inflict this on me? Huh? Fine, I tried to steal the gauntlet, but I was going through a difficult period. 
life is like that. But I am, I mean, I'm, I, I'm much better now. I am. Really, I, I feel I'm, I feel good. <laughs> Learn to become fond of Christmas and children, and then you will no longer feel punished. What? Uh, what did you say? It's missing one gauntlet. Where'd you find it? In a cave. I often sleep in caves when it's cold. All alone? Yes. What's your name? Mold. Mold. There's a name for you. Is this really snake poo? Yes. Uh, uh. What's so special about that armor? It's magical. It belonged to the kind knight who created this valley, and now... Now it's mine. Finally mine! <laughs> Actually, it's mine. I'm the one who found it. No, 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 no. What's the point in that? There isn't any magic if you wear it because you don't have royal blood. <sighs> yes, yeah, fine. What do you want for it? Some food? A blanket for your cave? You're the evilest person I've ever met. So I want to stay with you. Children, I abhor. I hate them too. Hatred's not bad. Doesn't it make you more evil? Am I right? Now start by telling me how this armor works. Four parts, the four elements. Iro's gauntlet is water, it can make snow. This gauntlet is fire. You see that? Did you see that? <laughs> the breastplate is earth. It protects you from pain. Watch this for example. <sighs> I could stand like this all day. Watch what else I can do. Mmm. Doesn't hurt at all. Staggering. <laughs> the helmet is air. Step aside. Yes. 
Give me one more. You sure? Come on, come on, come on. We have to hurry. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I can carry at least one more. Watch your hair. Watch what are you hair. doing? Looking for decorations for Christmas. <sighs> we were done decorating ages ago. <sighs> and do you think we can relax? No. Now we have to go to London for Christmas shopping? I'm exhausted. All I want to do is sleep, but it's impossible because of all the blinking lights? <sighs> what a hassle. Isabel, are you coming? We've got baking to do, seven kinds of cookies. <sighs> Did you see those? Isabel, now I know you're really excited about baking, but as people like to say around here, he who waits for something good never waits too long. Isn't that right, Mira? <laughs> That's not funny, Pop. Soda Pop? With your old man. <laughs> then let's go get something to drink. work for the sake of Christmas. Coward snack. Letting your louts ride out and hunt for Iral while you blah, hide blah, behind blah, these blah, castle blah, walls. Blah, 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 blah. Why do you think you're out here? For some fresh air? What do you mean? Iral's on her way here right now. With the gauntlet. And then the suit of armor is complete. And you know what that means. You have no right to do this here, Snark! 
Doesn't a serious and hard-working man deserve a break? Don't be petty, Iris. <laughs> All of this, just because our people chose your brother to be our king back then, huh? That's very well summarized. Yes, finally. Finally! And where's the girl? Your Highness. We followed her into the woods. We were right behind her. Then she disappeared. And the gauntlet? Return her to her cell this moment. Give her all the Christmas food and drink she desires. Huh? Oh, are you kidding? Yes. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Boxes, wires, light bulbs, extension cords, all ruined. And when can they repair it? In January. January? Not again. Why did you do this, Mira? Look at me when I talk to you. I used the book to interpret Dad's dream. And it said he wanted lots of lights for Christmas. I just wanted to make you happy. You know what, Mira? Now do to your dream interpretations. We have nowhere to stay for Christmas. Nowhere to stay, nowhere at all. So I think that what we will do is this. Isn't that a library book? What? Oh, nothing. P1 responding. P2 calling. Come to the hospital immediately. It's an emergency. Over and out. That was Roy. We'll have to continue this conversation tomorrow. And you, young lady, you're gonna have to start using your head. I think it's my turn to get some more firewood. Three years work, down the drain. Sorry. Just leave, okay? See the blazing you before us. Fa la 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 la. Strike the harp and join the chorus. Fa la 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 la. Follow me in merry measures. Fa la 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 la. Well, I tell of youth's I treasures. Fa la 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 la. Fa la 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 la. Fast away the old year passes Fa la 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 Hear the newly lads and lasses Fa la 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 Safe we die us all together Fa la 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 Heat us up the wind and weather Fa la 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 Fa la 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 Fa la fa We're doing our best to cheer you up, Anton. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> nice of you. You have to come with me right away. Come on. Hello. Hyrule? 
She's in a coma. She was very cold. We found her in the river. She won't wake up for a while. <clears throat> What do you know about this, Kevin? What? Nothing. It was three years since we last saw Iril and her mother here, and out of the blue she uh, suddenly reappears? Yeah, but I had nothing to do with it. All that stuff you're doing in your room at night? And what you told your dad and me about? That Valley of Nights thing? Yeah, but that was nonsense. How can you say that? Mira! Well, well. Hi, Roy. <clears throat> What's going on here, Sarah? Is this an investigation or a family reunion? <laughs> we actually know this girl, and um, maybe we can help. Are you an accountant? Yes, I am. I gotcha. is by the river. What's that? A barometer. And what what's that for? to anyone. Bring it home and put it somewhere safe. Can't I go with you? You know what happens when you try to help. No, actually Mira, I... you stay here. interpreted dad's dream. It meant that he wanted lots of lights. <sighs> but everything got screwed up because of me. And mom threw away my book and said the stream interpretation was nonsense. But I think it actually works if you, if you think the about gauntlet? it. Where is it? Ira? You're awake! We found the entrance to the Valley of the Knights and Kevin has gone to let them know you're here. Is Kevin already there? Yes, to tell your mother. And then we can celebrate Christmas yes, together. Yeah, it's dangerous. Huh? It's dangerous. Iro, Iro, can you hear me? Give me the oxygen.
Where are you going? Uh, I just want to get outside for some fresh air. Huh? Hey, we can't find any known address for them. It's like they never existed. I will just woke up. What? Then I have to find Roy. Roy? Roy, 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 Roy? What is so great about this Roy guy anyway, huh? He's the guy who gets things done. Gets things done? Who's the person who gets everything done at home, huh? While you and that overweening idiot are off doing important things like badger catching, I buy the groceries and get the kids to school while you're out just playing cops and robbers. What? Playing? Yeah. I'm working my butt off because your company is failing. And by the way- Well, that's a- The kids can take care of themselves for your information. And I'll tell you one more thing. That apron that you're always wearing is just an excuse, so you don't have to deal with your own life. Hmm. Have you ever caught a badger? When the badger bites, it doesn't let go until it hears a bone break. So why don't you think about that the next time you accuse us of playing cops? Mr. I-know-so-much accountant. Where are you going? Hello? Who are you? None of your business. Check what she is with her. Gimme! Look, I think it's food. Is this a weapon? No, it's a soda pop. Pop? Yes, you can drink it.
trace of her, your highness. All I asked of you was to find Iril in the gauntlet. Comb the woods, turn every stone. Come on, let's go. Like to take a look? It isn't very good, is it? <clears throat> Not evil enough. A drawing? Do you think I care about drawings? Can you not interrupt me here? It's impossible to think. What are you thinking about? For all you know, I can help. First of all, I don't need any help from a little urchin like you. And what are you doing here anyway? Didn't I tell you to stay in your part of the castle? Yes. But I found some Christmas decorations. And I thought it might please you if I burnt them. <sighs> there. Now go and burn your decorations. things which I've never seen before. What do you mean? Open the hatch. Kevin! Oh. And who is that? That's my sister. I will just woke up in the hospital. She, she said it's dangerous here. That's why I don't want you here. But I had to come warn you. Let me help you up. And who are they? This is Flake. And the others, that's his gang. They are here to help me. How? We have to take the armor from Snurk. Oh no! Oh golly, Mikash. Last time no I was way. here, I discovered something. There's a passageway from the King's Chamber to the forest, right here. If we go through that passageway, we can sneak our way into Snurk's chamber and steal the armor while he's sleeping. Okay. And when are we leaving? You aren't going anywhere. Huh? You shouldn't have been here at all. And it's too dangerous to go back. You stay here. But I... No. No buts. Uh, you're welcome to stay here because um, I can't go uh, because I have to. Um, uh, today is uh, my washing day and uh, I'm doing my underwear, as you can see, so um, I can't go with you. But I'll, I'll take care of her. Uh, hi. Good afternoon. Guten Tag. Bonjour. God afton. Then have a very nice day then. Dance. <laughs> <laughs> Here, now? You heard me. <laughs> that good?
<laughs> Dancing is forbidden. You're under arrest. No. You said I should do it. Bring this clown to the dungeon where he can cool down. You and I will go find some food. But he told me to dance. That was a lousy trick. I wouldn't have danced if I knew it was forbidden. I don't even like to dance. He, um, he, he, he didn't seem very happy to see you. No. I always get in the way. Uh-huh. I, I try to help, but everything gets screwed up. I wish I was smart like Kevin, <laughs> that at least knew something. All I can do is interpret dreams. <laughs> but what good is that, right? How is that ever going to help? Well, of course, uh, you'll be able to use that someday. For example, I once dreamt of big rectangular boxes. And the point is, you put your underwear in them. Inside, it fills up with water and starts spinning round and round and round and round. And your underwear comes out clean in the end. <laughs> now, how would you interpret that? Snacks, men are coming! Quick, hide in the cellar. Oh, mommy, you're daddy. I'm oh. oh, mommy. We are the king's men. You are to give us all the food we want. Honesty, valor, and sacrifice. Honesty, valor, and sacrifice. Where are you hiding it, hmm? It sure looks like you had enough to eat. What's this? Yuck. Excuse me, but uh, that is not soup. That is. <sighs> Dirty underwear water. Come on, let's move on to the next house. What's that? What? What is that? Come on. <sighs> the Prince of Winter? Yeah, I was. I don't know what to say. It was um, out here in the end, um, just, just outside in the. Prepare yourself for prison, you bumpkin. Come on, we have to alert Snurk that the Prince of Winter is here. Hurry, we have to warn Kevin. What? That is dangerous. Dangerous. But they're going to get. But you're um. I'm supposed to stay in the house, and I, I promise to be looking after you to your brother. So, we'll just stay here and hope for the best. You too. 
<laughs> Why you little Yes, I'm gonna take uh, such a lovely little nettle. Hey, let's cover his ears. Yeah. means you have a conflict inside of you. Go ahead, sting me. Oh, my little nettle. <laughs> Dreaming of nettles means that you're fond of someone, but it hurts. <laughs> the Prince of Winter! The Prince of Winter! Got him! Got him! <laughs> See here, if it isn't the little rat king, whom everybody loves. Well, this place seems cozy. Quite a lot has happened since the last time we met. <laughs> I would like to have a civil conversation here. You listen closely, you little dimwit! You're gonna tell me where Irel and the Gauntlet are, so I can unite my powers. If you do that, I'll let you go back. Now, won't that be nice? I will never tell you that. What, you say? I will never tell you. <laughs> Tomorrow the wind's gonna pick up. And then these walls will be the last thing that you ever see! He'll try to escape. 
So keep your eyes on. Prince of Winter stays here, Your Majesty. No one has ever managed to escape from here. No one from our world. gang, right? Yes. Typical me. To screw everything up. You know, Kevin told me not to follow him, but then I was talking to Iro, and she woke up and said it was dangerous here. So I had to warn him, and now they're both in trouble. So do you? Know where Iral is? Yes. I know where Iral is and I know where the gauntlet is. I think I know how you are feeling. I also feel like I'm in the way sometimes. I spoil everything, just like you. But you and I, we can go get the gauntlet and give it to Iroh. And then we can show that we can do something that is right. Rats and cockroaches! But you captured the Prince of Winter. Yes, but you know what that means. The mountain's been opened. Open, huh? Yes. If evil threatens the Valley of Nights, it can open. That's why that prince is here. And the Gauntlet and Iral are there! There? Yes. Beyond the Endless Forest. Cause I was there. I've seen it with my own eyes. They have doors that open by themselves. Carriages race without horses, and in the sky, iron birds are seen flying. Snare! Didn't I tell you not to interrupt me? Just use force on the Prince of Winter. Make him tell you where the opening is. He would prefer to die than betray Iron out of love. Allegedly. Love does that to people. Blah, makes me sick. You never listen to me! Do you want to know how to fight Iroh and the Gauntlet? Or do you just want to sit here and complain? Should I throw her out the window? Hmm? There's a girl hiding in the castle and I found her. She knows where Iroh and the Gauntlet are and she trusts me. Let me help her escape the castle and get to Iroh without being stopped. Then you can follow. Damsels in distress, you know. Did you know that? <laughs> it's all made up, you know. <laughs> Their names are fake. They aren't even in distress. <laughs>
Everything you said about this place. What are you doing here? I followed Mira. She's somewhere around here. We have to find her and get her out of here without being discovered. Yeah. What do we do now? What do you think? First, we have to find some other clothes. Right. Of course. I wanted to find something that wouldn't attract attention. What are they doing? They're not celebrating Christmas. The hospital is over there. The what? Hospital, a place for sick people. That's where Iro lives. Look out! What is that? Oh, just some nuts I had with me. What are these? Must have been a hole in the bag. You aren't really nice. You're evil. Yes. I am Snurked Darling. Especially when he finds out about this. I don't really need you now, because I found where Iral is. Children are children's worst enemy. I took care of Mold because I knew she would be of use one day. And I was right! She tricked a stupid girl! And now we know where to find I. And the gauntlet! No! No! We're about to enter a world full of danger to get the gauntlet back! With the full suit of armor, I will close the Valley of Knights forever! We have to get home before them. Yeah. So we can hide Iowa. Yeah. You will all get privileges! You can choose where you want to live and throw out the ones living there! You will get food, silver, and free subscriptions to damsels in distress! No! Hang on, hang on! These subscriptions, annual or lifetime? Huh? Will we get lifetime subscriptions? For your whole lives! <laughs> What are you doing there? Hmm? I just had to, uh, pee just a little. Just a little? Pee? Haven't I seen you before? Who are you? Uh, the new guy. The new guy? What's your name? Anton. Anton? Everyone here has a nickname. Hmm. Do you have a nickname? 
What's your nickname? The Number Cruncher. Anton the Number Cruncher. That about your steed! Anton the Number Cruncher! Probably checked into a hotel with the kids. But Sarah, your relationship was kinda over anyway. I think you, you should be looking forward now, aren't I right? No, I have to call some of the other police stations just to see what they've heard. Where are the phone lists? There are many men out there. Longing for love. You know, closeness. Who reads this nonsense? <laughs> Seriously. It's just sad. Kevin! Hi! I hardly recognized you. Where have you been? Kevin, you have to talk to me. What's going on? Some dangerous people are coming. They're after Irol. I have to go inside and save her. No, you're not going anywhere. Get in the car and stay there. But Mom... Roy and I will go in and check. Just listen to your mother and get in. Now, you stay here. Unless you want to be grounded for the next five years. Yeah. down to the garage and I'll meet you there.
Would it help if maybe we got her the gauntlet? Let's get her home. Give me a hand. He's gone again. What's going on here? Come on! Hurry up! Is it these? Kevin said they were dangerous. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Not in a week. What? I may have exaggerated slightly. I did take Taekwondo for a little over a week in the fifth grade. Okay, but you did undercover work in Randeburg, huh? Well, yes, I have been to Randeburg, but... Uh, Are you saying you lied to me? Maybe a little. A little? <laughs> I don't have a black belt, and I haven't infiltrated biker gangs or worked for the FBI. Then uh, what was the point of all of that, huh? I just wanted you to like me. <gasps> I love you, Sarah. <sighs> but I'm married, Roy! No one loves their husband anymore, do they? I do. I really do. Yes, I really do. Ah, what is this cheesy nonsense? Get them! <laughs> Dream interpretation. Light blue means magic, and green means movement. You try. Help! 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 Ah! Let's let's take it easy now, folks. Calm down now. I'm not kidding. <sighs> Will somebody shut her up? <laughs> Just get in. I got a little overexcited. <sighs> you saw who was driving the ambulance? Yeah. We have to find the kids, Mom. Come on. Where's the gauntlet? We have it, but Snurk is after us. Do you think you can use the gauntlet against him? I don't know. I've never had the chance. I have to try.
Search everywhere! Looting lot! Let's look at this rectangle here. How are we supposed to get inside these things? We have to get out into the yard. No one here, Your Majesty. <sighs> it's Iril. She's got the gauntlet. Come on! On to the next box! But, uh, we don't have any candy for you. We have been out traveling, as you can see. But I have something else I could show you. Huh? <laughs> Watch us. Let there be light! <laughs> Isn't that fantastic?
Finally. Ah. It's complete! <laughs> what a mess it is in here, huh? All this hullabaloo. And for what? If you'd have given it to me right away, none of this would have occurred. Know what I'll do now? I will close the tunnel forever. Hmm. You're coming home with your uncle to spend the rest of your days in the dungeon with that pathetic mother of yours. Oh, look at me. I'm so grand and erect and elegant. I represent all the positive forces in the world. Let go of me! Good. Back to the Valley of Nights! My dad! <gasps> what? Uh, Kevin! Are you alright? It's over, Mira. But what about Iroh? And the gauntlet? It's too late. It doesn't matter. He doesn't care about anyone. He only cares about himself now that he has the gauntlet. Mold. I think I know how to stop Snark! No, Mira! Mira, come back, it's dangerous! Trying to be funny. We've taken Mold prisoner. If you're interested in having her back, give us the armor and then set Iro free. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think I would surrender this suit of armor willingly for some kid? <laughs> <laughs> What about my little nettle? My little, little lemon? <laughs> what are... What are you talking about? I can interpret your dreams, Snark. And you do care for her. King Snark? Care for a kid? <laughs> you will never see her again, Snark. Can you live with that? It's nice to have someone to be evil with, isn't it? And you can't let her down. That's what love is. True love. didn't care for mold, then you would have just finished me off. Where is she? Hey! Come on, Snook! She's messing with your head! Where is she? Give the armor to Iroh first. You can't! You can't surrender your power to that spleeny, muddy, metal little cross! Shut up! You promised everything! You promised us lifetime subscriptions to Dempsey's <laughs> All she wants is for you to tell her. She wants you to like her. That's what we all want. Someone to like us. Even when we do stupid things.
What are you doing, huh? Are you stupid? How can you be cruel dressed like that now? In a nightgown? You have to go now. And you shall never return to the Valley of Nights. Whatever. Come on, Mold, let's go. Mira, you're never too small to do great deeds. Thank you so much. Now I have to free my mother and see to it everyone can celebrate Christmas. And a white one at that. What did she say? I think your wish is gonna come true, Mira. Just like a dream. I told you I could interpret dreams. Yeah. Welcome, Mira. How you've grown. Wow, this is totally amazing, Mira. Oh, welcome. How nice that you can celebrate Christmas with us. Hi, Rob. Once Christmas is over, will you close the tunnel then? I'm going to have to. I don't want Snurk to come back here. No. But with the full suit of armor now, I can open and close the tunnel at will. I think this next year is going to be a good one. So do I. Mira. I have a little extra present for you. Can I open it now? Yes. <gasps> Dr. Howard's book! Yes. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> it wasn't easy to find. <clears throat> you are one crazy little girl, Mira. You do so many things that drive your mother and me totally cuckoo. Can you promise you'll never stop doing that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please take a seat, everyone, and welcome. Please help yourselves to whatever you would like and pass it on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, of course. What do you think? I promise that evil will win out in the end. Are you positive? Yes. There. Everything okay? Good. Here, this is for you. I've never gotten a present before. Ah. Here. I stole it, of course. You can't do evil things with an earache, you know. I hope it's full of lice, so I start itching like crazy. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, yeah. You and me, Mold. You and me.
spoke now and then. What are you, like, not have a brain up there, or are you just stupid, huh? Just don't call me stupid, okay? You think it's easy being me? A gruesome night? With a voice like this? Hey. It doesn't matter what your voice sounds like. Evil comes from the inside. And you are gruesome, through and through. <laughs> Merry Christmas, buddy. Merry Christmas! Look what I found, huh? Christmas lights! Now things will be cozy, huh? <laughs> Merry Christmas! Huh? Hello? Oh, oh, oh. 